Hello, welcome back to Erica City Welsh Garden. Thank you so much for joining me today. As you can see, I am down at the allotment and it's the most beautiful day today. Um, I'm not actually gonna be doing any work on this plot today though, because despite the beautiful weather, we have had constant rain for about two weeks now. So the ground there is absolutely sodden. There are a few weeds coming through um, as well, but I think I'm just gonna leave it now until I can actually start walking on it. If you watch my video I did a couple of weeks ago where I set out the new um, beds, at first I wasn't sure if I'd left enough room for the pathways but looking at it again today I definitely think there is enough room and what my plan for the pathways is um, is going to be that I'm putting down some wood chip. Now I've been doing loads of work at home on my woodland garden you may have seen in some other videos and I've got loads of um, kind of twigs and stuff that I can actually make into wood chip so my plan is over the next couple of weeks while things are fingers crossed drying out and there's been no more rain I can start working on making that wood chip and then I can actually put the pathways down um, which is really exciting I'm definitely think this was the best decision to make the beds this size um, but obviously we've, we've worked that out over time and um, just before we go on to what what I've planned to come down here for today for um, but where the onions and garlic at the very end of the plot nobody's actually asked this but I thought I'd just I'd just kind of um, tell you why it looks like that um, the onions and garlic are currently like in the middle of the pathway because that's where I planted them back in October or maybe September October time before I'd really worked out what I was going to do with this plot and how I was going to kind of set the beds out so at the moment half the garlic and um onions are actually growing in that pathway so I'll let them continue to grow and then once I've harvested them I can then kind of set those beds out and put the wood chip around there. So what did I actually come down here for today? Today I'm going to be potting on my onions, the onions and leeks actually that are in the polytunnel. These were planted ages ago and because I wasn't able to get down to the allotment for 16 days and then I came down for like one day and then I couldn't come down for another 10 days they've just been being watered by other people and they really do need to get potted on now so I'm going to get that done today I've got some peat free compost I'm going to go get in a bucket and then I'll catch up with you in the polytunnel Wow, what a turn up it is for the books. <laughs> when I left the house this morning, it was grey and raining and now the sun's coming out. I'm gonna have to take my like coat off, it's so hot. I tell you what though, with this warm weather, my carrots are hopefully gonna grow really quickly because the carrots I'm growing in these uh, this 35 litre pot and I think a 10 litre pot, I'm planning on growing potatoes in these. So hopefully they will be ready in a, in a month or two, but I'm not sure. Let's... um. Turn the camera around, go around there and have a look at the um, onions at the moment and then we can get them potted on. So here are the onions that I've had growing in these um, kind of little tubs and as you can see they're looking really healthy but they're starting to look a little bit yellow and usually when you um, use any kind of multi-purpose compost they only really have enough um, nutrients in that compost to feed those seedlings for maybe six weeks or something so it really is time that they need to be potted on. These are the Elsa Craig onions. As you can see, I put them really thickly in there and they look like they've all germinated. Um, but then I also had the uh, Musselboro um, leeks and they're a little bit more sparse as you can see. Um, so with these, what I'm gonna be doing today is rather than trying to um, kind of take these out individually, I'm gonna probably split this into four and then I'm gonna put it into like one big pot. The reason I do that is because I've only really ever had um, kind of success with onion seedlings where I've maybe planted like 10 or 15 in one pot, potted on that pot and let them get really quite big and then um, I've, when I've wanted to plant them out into the ground, I've kind of then dunked the root ball into water and found it quite easy to separate them then. However, it's not actually really a tried and tested method for myself because I've never successfully harvested um, onions to eat from seeds. So we'll see, but that's what I'm going to be doing again today. And then... Um, I'll probably leave them in here for a little while longer, but do you know what? It's so warm in here today that I think it's probably better for them if I can get them out of the polytunnel as soon as possible. 
also we've got this area of my polytunnel that's got the onion sets in that I put in um, September and they seem to be growing okay but I have a feeling again it's such warm weather now um, on a nice dry day that if I don't keep on with watering these at the right time there's a high possibility that they're going to bolt um, but this is the first time I've ever tried this so we'll see how successful it is this year and then if it is successful then I'll definitely be doing it again next year um, but if not I'll scrap that idea so if you can see as well I actually weeded this entire area about two weeks ago no maybe not two weeks ago maybe at the very beginning of the year before I got quarantined um but it's grown back again I think this is just kind of the general amount of watering that I've been doing here because usually I use plant halos here and only water into the plant halos to feed my tomatoes and maybe these have never been you know the the um, compost hasn't been watered before and there's just loads of seeds that are going to keep germinating so i'm going to quickly give that a weed as well today i've decided to come in here and um, get these potted on because it's so bright in that polytunnel i can hardly see um i've got a mixture of different size pots here um i mean this one seems quite overkill but to be honest i don't think these are going to be potted up again they will just then go into their final growing space in the um, allotment so actually you know if they're in there for a month or two that should give them quite a lot of nutrients to um, continue growing so i've got some um, peat free compost in here and that's what i'll be using today this is the first time I've used this um, this brand of um, peat-free compost, so hopefully it's going to be okay. But so far, so good. Sometimes with peat-free compost, um, I'm one of these people that usually goes with like the cheaper brand. Sometimes it needs to be um, kind of composted down for another year, but this stuff's actually so far looks pretty good. As I said earlier, this is um, hopefully the first year that I'm going to successfully grow onions from seed to actually harvesting them but if you're a seasoned onion grower from seed you have to let me know what your tips are um, and stuff like that i really want to kind of get the hang of it this year so it's going to save me money in the future but if i want to like grow red onions for instance hopefully they're not going to bolt so moment of truth i'm just going to like tip it out now it's already quite wet oh look at that so you can see the root ball there. I'm just going to gently kind of um, tease it apart. I say gently tease it apart. There's one already done. Um, so I'm just going to kind of split it up gently like this and put one of those in each pot. And if you want to see there, that is um, one of the roots there looking pretty good. And I don't think that has been um, chopped off well, when I've... Um, just split it then what i quite like about kind of onion seedlings is it seems like you can be pretty rough with them and they will just um continue to grow and thrive and be quite happy I had to just disappear off there to get some more compost because i didn't realize when i put it in how much i'd be using today tell you what down at the very bottom of my plot it is so wet and muddy still it's unbelievable but i feel really lucky because um looking on um facebook and places like that some people's allotments are completely flooded I, it's absolutely crazy i so feel so you know i feel so sorry for anybody where their plot has become completely um kind of waterlogged like that it's it's really sad so what i'm going to do with the mussel root is i'm actually going to just plant the whole kind of tray um together inside one of these much bigger pots because there's not actually that many in there so i think they cope quite well and i know with liz or when she's given me leek seedlings before they're usually like maybe about 50 in a pot this size and she is really successful with them um, growing leeks so I think sometimes it's nice to, you know, copy other successful people, isn't it? Liz actually did a video where she showed how she grew leeks from start to finish. Um, I think it's quite an old video that she did, but I will put a link to that down below in the description if you're interested in having a look and seeing how um, leeks grow from start to finish. Right, I've got enough compost in here now, so ready for the moment of truth. If you want to have a look there, it's a slightly less um, root formation there because obviously there's a lot less um, leaks in there. I 
think I've managed to uh, transplant this tray without too many casualties, maybe one or two. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Also, I'm going to have to make sure that I know which are in which because I haven't bought any labels with me today. Oh dear. Well, this one's just falling apart because um, it's a little bit more wet than um, the other ones. We're on to the last tray of the Elsa Crate onions now. These are much more dense, so m very easy. Right, here you go. Here is the um, kind of root ball on this one. So, uh, yeah, much more together. And we're on to the last one. I was saying in my last video that... Um, one of my least favourite jobs is potting on um, seedlings. But to be honest, with uh, with onion ones, because I don't do them individually, it's a little bit more easy than when you've got individual plants to pot on. Really pleased that I've come down and got this job done today. Um, before I water them, I'm just going to get this area tidied up because this is a communal area of my allotment. And if I don't tidy it up, I'll be getting a message telling me off. <laughs> tidy up done and I'm going to get these back into the polytunnel now. I like the idea of leaving them out but I think they're just too small at the moment and if a slug or a snail gets anywhere near them they're going to munch the whole pot. on the carrots and although they looked really kind of lush and green and stuff when I put my finger into the soil it was actually quite dry so I've given them a really good water now and I've also done the same with the onions in this raised bed I think as we're you know going to be getting a lot more warmer weather if I don't water them enough they're not going to grow but also they're going to get really stressed and I'm not going to have a harvest so I need to make sure I do at least one really really thorough deep water once a week and then kind of keep an eye on them daily now it's so funny how um yesterday felt like winter and horrible and rainy and today it's like it's like spring has suddenly woken up and um it's switched me on to make me realise I need to be on the ball now and get motivated to start this season. Um, so anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed watching today's video. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, I really hope you've enjoyed it. But please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so be notified of all of my latest videos. As ever, YouTube have some videos up on the screen that they think you'll like. So please go ahead and watch those and I'll catch up with you in the next episode. Bye!